feeling good tonight Yes, they got me thinking up for life well, it's your boy Fernando Chino with the one and only Whiskey, finally in Amsterdam. Um, welcome, welcome. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. It's been a, like a long journey. Um, you, 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 you've got so many hits on your name. Take take us back back in time because you started at the age of eleven making music. Yeah. What made you like want to like pursue that dream and become an artist? You know, um, from the first time I actually got to perform the song, you know, I recorded in the studio like when I was 11. I knew I wanted to do this all my life. Like, I just felt it. It was just something I I wanted to do. And I remember the first time on stage, I had like my family in the crowd and it was like, it was in church, you know, my mom and my sisters. Yeah. So when it was my turn, because I was in a group, so when it was my turn to come up, <laughs> I remember looking at my sister and she was like, <laughs> I hope he doesn't mess with this up Like Yeah Like But You know I came out And I killed it We had a great show And I was just like Yo I wanna do this for life man Wow Yeah Cause no. a lot of people look at At the glitter and glamour Of, of, of the music But it, it's, it's hard work Could you like explain us How hard Of work it is For you as an artist Well it's crazy Like it's It's, it's actually More work for me Most especially because I write my music, you know, like um, I write all my music and I'm, I kind of like co-produce my music as well. So I love to be in the studio with the producer making the beats from scratch. Wow. Or sometimes I have my ideas already and I go in like, you know, and we just share ideas and we just vibe. So it is crazy work for me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. so like I'm up there working. I work 48 hours in the studio without sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I have a studio in my house. I have like five producers signed to me. So it's like, it's always work, man. Legendary Beats. Legendary Beats. Yeah. Big shout out Legendary Beats. We got Sars. We got, um, we got Malik Berry, you know. We got um, Dr. Frabs. And right now, we're, we're just closing one new producer as well. We're going to put on the label. Wow. A new producer from uh, Nigeria or? From Africa. He's from South Africa, actually. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. And what is his name, or is that still uh, on the down low? <laughs> on the down low. <laughs> if I probably say it right now, I'll probably make the news. So <laughs> I just want to uh, save that for later. Okay, okay, cool. And and um, I've been playing the song with you and R. Kelly, because you're on R. Kelly's album. So I was checking out the album, I saw Whiskey, I was like, oh my God, he did it. He worked with the king of R&B. Could you tell us how that collaboration came about? Did he call you? Did you call him? Yeah, it was kind of crazy, like, you know, big shout out to R. Kelly, you know, like, they just reached out to us and I was like yeah why not let's do it so yeah. I just did it wasn't there pressure like I mean cause if you if this guy worked with Michael Jackson <laughs> for me there was no pressure at all it was just like there's never pressure like I work with like I've worked with a lot of big names you know I've been blessed to be able to work with a lot of big names yeah. you know so it's like I'm just calm and collected you know? yeah yeah, it's going with the vibes. With the vibes and it's music, so it's music, so it's like I just do my part. I know what I'm bringing to the table, so I don't have to be nervous yeah. or stuff. No. Yo, Scott, yeah, you're you're comfortable with your talent, so you know God is going to lead you to great things. Just believe and just go. Um, and, and your new EP, cause you come with with an EP. Yeah, Tell me about it. I'm excited about that. Like I've been working on it for like two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Pff. What can I say? Who's on it? Tell me. Tell me. Who's on it? Who's on it? Throw some names. Who's on it? Yeah, um, we got a lot of people on it. I have Chris Brown on it. I have um I have Trey Songs on it. And I have um I have a record with Tiny Temper. Um I have something with Deep Low. I might try on it. Um Wow. Two Face. Wow. And I'm just everybody, man. You got fire on that, man. Because cause, cause I remember c coming across a song where you did with uh, Major Laser and Cranium. I was like, whisk it on this? My, my, like, th that song was, how did that, did he call you as well? Like, Yeah, it was crazy because um, Diplo, we just, it was, we met through like Twitter, you know. It's mm -hmm. funny. Because <laughs> he just followed me and I followed him. He was like, big fan of your work. And I was like, oh, big fan of your work too, boss. Yeah. And we just linked up like, I was in a studio with Ty Dollar Sign. Actually, I have Ty Dollar on the mixtape as well. Big shout out to Ty. Yeah, um, I was in a studio with him in LA, and he played me the song. Said, "Yo, we have this record produced by Deep Low, you know, <laughs> and we don't have a hook for it." And I was like, "Yeah, sure, I could do something." So I just did a hook. I didn't even know what was gonna make the album, <laughs> so wow. he just called me like, "Oh, where's we want to put it on the album?" I was like, 
dope, man. Wow. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a big fan of like major laser sound anyway. Big, big fan. So you got a track with Diplo on, on, on the EP. What, why, why EP and not a full length album? Of course. Yeah, no, the thing is, it is, it is. <laughs> I'm working on it like an album, to be honest. Okay, okay. <laughs> so how many tracks are going to be on it then? It's going to be 10 tracks on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, it's but it's just, it's like a subtle introduction yeah. to Wiz, to the sound Wiz, you know, to, cause it's called Sounds from the Other Side. You know, I have, I have Chris Brown on records that's, that, that is, that is produced by my producers, you know, written by me and um, my sound. And I have Trey songs on records like, produced by my producers yeah. on my sound yeah. you know so it's like Tiny Tempo also on my sound like everybody that works on me is coming on my sound wow yeah so it's like we're trying to make it global you know and yeah. it's and it's music so like every, any real musician can work with yeah. them and, uh, are, and, and is it a situation where they come to the studio and you're like organically working on the music or yeah. does it go okay it's good. Like, we, like Chris Chris is like so amazing you know Chris Brown is like very, 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 very talented, you know. And, um, and I was shocked, like, in the studio, he was just willing to listen, like, willing to go with my vibe, you know. So I just told him, yo, I feel you should bounce like this on the record, and he does it. Same thing with Trey Songs as well, same thing with Tidal. Like, everyone I work with, actually, everyone has been, like, cool and easy, wow. you know, so. 